got one of these or found one of these on the street it is a vaping device you suck here it draws air in through a little hole here and that triggers an element heats it up generates a vapor anyway inside here is a rechargeable battery and those rechargeable batteries can be used to make things like a rechargeable torch like that let's have a look inside <laughs> To get it on, to get the insides out, basically we have to remove the suction part. So just grab hold of it with a nice pair of pliers, twist and pull, and that should come out. Inside there is uh, various little bits of plastic which we will pull out and get rid of. And you can smell it already. Sometimes it will just pop out, and sometimes it won't. Sometimes you have to dig it out. And inside here is the tube with the vaping liquid in it. That's the heating element in there. And down there is the battery. And to get the battery out, we have to take this end off so again we just grip it with a nice pair of pliers and twist it whatever you do do not squeeze the tube because you can damage the battery and that could catch fire then when it's if it's damaged so just grab hold of the end twist it pulling it gently and out it comes and there we have the sensor the battery and the heating element so we don't really need the heating element we're not going to use it for anything just to show that it does work you can sometimes if it if it's still uh, got energy in it you can breathe into here and the little light will come on so i'm just going to try that there it is the little light comes on and that would be turning on the little heating element here we don't want that all we want out of here is the battery so we've got a little bit of rubber which is used to hold the battery in place just take that out of the way and being very careful not to cut anything other than wires we can snip that snip that and then on the battery we can snip that so there we have a 3.7 volt 550 milliamp hour battery and they last quite a long time now you can get these little circuit boards uh, very simply uh, off of um, ebay quite cheaply I, I tend to buy 10 at a time when i'm doing little projects like this you can put um, standard USB 5 volts in there that will then uh, charge the battery and then you take the output from there from the battery out it senses battery in and out so that's what we're going to do I've got uh, this one pre-prepared with some extra sockets and things on so I'm just going to solder that onto there right so I'm just going to tin the top of these wires here This is just a little adapter that I put on for other purposes. So the red one goes on there. Just a little word of warning, don't overheat these terminals. Just a quick little dab with the soldering iron to get it on there. It's usually good enough. Like so. And we can get 5 volts from a power supply on here we plug that in and that shows that it's charging the battery so once that's charged we will get a full battery which we can then use to power another device 
Right, uh, this little battery's been on charge for quite a while and uh, you can see that the little charge light has now turned blue uh, which means it's fully charged so we can unplug the supply and I've connected to uh, this little board uh, a little uh, output lead and a little test circuit which is basically just some little flashing LEDs and there it is, the uh, battery that I've recovered from this um, uh, vaping unit is now powering this and as I said I've used it to power various other devices so if you see one of these um, vaping tubes sitting in the street in the bin or you know somebody who uses them and they're going to go chuck it away get hold of it take it apart take the battery out and reuse it and I'll put a link to uh, this little circuit board uh, which you can use uh, in your um, in the uh, description below thanks very much bye Thank you.